batch of material is really interesting. It raises questions about the Gate found, Gates Foundation in China. It raises more questions about Fauci's agency's monitoring and concern and funding for the Wuhan Institute. Some incredible material. Fox News uh, did report on Fauci yesterday quite extensively and has said that he was a part of the Wuhan lab in China and uh, everything that went on there to manufacture this, well, we know what it is. Let's take a listen. seeing them to turn over documents. These aren't voluntary disclosures. And we had asked for documents for records of communications, contracts, and agreements with the Wuhan Institute of Virology. We want grants to benefit the Wuhan Institute, and the agency's response was we can only get 300 pages a month to process them. Which means we don't get all 300 pages, it just means they looked at them, and they're going to give us what they're going to give us. So they're slow rolling the release of information, but nevertheless, we're getting it. And this new batch of material is really interesting. It raises questions about the Gate found, Gates Foundation in China. It raises more questions about Fauci's agency's monitoring and concern and funding for the Wuhan Institute. Some incredible material. Now, these are one of these releases where I'm going to give you the highlights here. I can't read it all. It's too much. You won't be able to follow it. I won't be able to tra translate it well because it's so much. But I encourage you to go directly to our website at judicialwatch.org to look at these new Wuhan documents, look at the release, and it's only, you know, as I said, they only gave us 129 of the 300 pages they were supposed to review, so it isn't that much to review. Uh, but obviously I can't go through all 129 pages with but I can't go through the highlights, and I encourage you, as a citizen, to track what your government's up to by looking at the documents yourselves. Okay, I will be leaving a link to this. Um, and also, I wanted to let all of you know that in Australia, also yesterday, the Fox News was talking about how they have facial recognition and that they're using smartphones and oh boy, if you don't have that and you're out in public somewhere where you're not supposed to be because it's locked down, well, they arrest you and take you away. As a matter of fact, they arrested a bunch of teenagers and uh, fined them $1,000 a piece. But I just wanted to bring you this news this morning. Y'all have a blessed day. And look up because oh boy, we're getting ready to go home, y'all. It's coming real fast now. <laughs> 